<clears throat> well, it's uh, I got this cocked. It's still, it's still night. I uh, thought I was gonna go in and take a shower and watch a little TV and go to bed, but I just got kind of excited about doing this, and I came back out and I'm working on cutting this for the gimbal. There's only so much of that that's interesting. Well, this is the basic idea. Uh, I'll have a hole through here and a, a hole through here, and it will swing and tilt as that box swings and tilts. But it's kind of flexible. And so what I'm going to do is just weld this rod across the center here on the bottom to stiffen it up some so it won't sag when I get a a uh, big cast iron pot uh, pot roast on there. Okay, I'm going to weld that up and uh, drill my holes and, and uh, mount it. And I might call it a night. Alright, it's in there. Uh, I got to take it all out and paint everything, but I just wanted to get it in there to make sure I had it right. Here's, here's what that's for. As this tilts up, that tilts back. So when you follow the sun with this, the pot stays level. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I don't feel like going to bed. In the uh, face frame here. I will probably have the uh, door made today. I'm going to cut one more piece for over here and then I'm going to start on the door. Breezy! You're eating wood! You know, we got to talk, man. You're just not a smart dog. You know that? I love you, but God, you do some stupid stuff. Why are you eating my wood? You're getting splinters in your throat, and you're hacking them up, and you're eating them back down again. God. Okay. I try to take my dog to the vet. I'm going to finish this up. No, I'm kidding. There's the face frame. Done. I'm happy with that. It's real smooth. Uh, and it had to be like that because I've got to be able to close the door. Solid, tight tight uh, without any leaks air leaks you know I don't want the inside heat once it heats up to be leaking out so uh, I've been real careful to make this as airtight as possible all right I'm fixing to start on the door well there's the basic door uh, I can only put three sides together today because uh, I don't have the glass today's Saturday I won't be able to get the glass till Monday and uh, what I got to do now is cut two quarter-inch grooves all the way around. A quarter-inch groove here and a quarter-inch groove closer to the other side. All the way around, all four sides for uh, the class. And what I'll do is I'll assemble those three there. So when I get the glass, I can slide it in the grooves and then, and then put that on. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, start painting because I'm sort of at a, a crossroads here. You know, if I don't have the glass, I can't make the door. <sighs> so uh, I'll get it all painted. Might, might take two coats. And uh, tomorrow, since I still can't get the glass, I'm going to work on a means of uh, mounting this. Wait till you see how I'm going to mount this. It's going to be so cool. I've got a pole stuck out in my front yard that I was using for my solar battery chargers. But that pole would be perfect to uh, put this on because I'll be able to swivel it. 
and I'm going to make something in the shape of a U that will come up on either side of this. Uh, I'll have one upright here and one upright here attached to a bar underneath it and uh, I'll be able to put a pin through it and tilt this following the sun and in the middle I'll put a, a pole that, that will fit over the pole I've got in my front yard so I'll be able to swivel it and tilt it without having to you know lift it and manhandle it and then I have sort of another not a dilemma, but uh, I'm at an impasse. I just cannot come up with a means of mounting the reflectors because they're really heavy. And this thing's already getting, uh, you know, it's probably 40 pounds. And by the time I get the door on there, you know, another 10 pounds, that's an awful lot to be lugging in and out. Uh, I won't leave this outside when I go to work. It probably won't be there when I get home. Uh, so I have to be able to take the reflectors off separately. Plus, I need to be able to open the door. So I need to figure out a way to mount the reflectors where they can be taken on and off pretty easily and in a way where I can open and close the door. Uh, I have two options of the door. I can hinge it at the top or I can hinge it on the left side or, or the right side, but uh, I can't hinge it on the bottom because that would mean I would have to stand too far away from it to, uh, you know, stir the pot or whatever. So if anybody has any, any suggestions as to uh, mounting the reflectors or a website maybe that you've seen that I haven't stumbled across, uh, I would appreciate any uh, advice you can give me or suggestions you might make. This is a joint project. And... Uh, you know, if you have some input, please uh, sound off. I appreciate any suggestions you might have. Okay, uh, I'm going to hit this with some paint. I'll show you that real quick. And uh, tomorrow I'll get started on uh, a way that I'm going to mount it. And I'll show you that too. See ya. Okay, I've got my uh, grooves cut. I still don't have this together yet. But, uh... That's what I'm fixing to do next. And I actually, uh, the glass I'm getting is quarter inch, but I'm not 100% certain it's quarter inch. So I, I made these just slightly bigger than quarter inch. Uh, and I'll just put some silicone, uh, just a thin bead of silicone. Uh, when I slide the glass in, I just hit it with a little silicone so uh, no heat will leak out. All right, I'm going to put these together. All right, I got the door together and on. Uh, I didn't glue the top portion of it so I can take it off and slide the glass in. There you go. And I'll show you the other side just so you can be thinking about a way I can attach these reflectors. Okay, I am going to uh, upload this video, take a bath, and watch a little TV. See ya.